You mentioned Luke Wood, obviously that, that was announced a month or two back, mm-hmm. who is likely for next season. Kind of where else you're looking in terms of recruitment for, for next year, Paul? Um, no, nowhere really. We, we, we're fine with our, with our established homegrown core staff. Um, we have a policy of trying to pr- promote and produce our players through our EPP and our academy into the elite the side of the game. Um, having said that, we don't do that exclusively. We will always look to pick individuals who are worthy of coming and playing at Lancashire and playing at Emirates Old Trafford and we've done that selectively over the last couple of years with Keaton Jennings, Richard Gleeson and Luke Wood are the three that, that have come in. Um, the only place we have for manoeuvre in signing individuals is our overseas picks in red ball and white ball. Um, we, we haven't got any uh, I don't perceive any need or ambition to sign anybody else at the moment. With the way the fixtures are set up for next season, is it is slightly easier to try and sign the overseas players that would, that would play both red ball and white ball cricket for you? Is that an easier route for you, bearing in mind the way the fixtures are planned out next season or not? It's becoming increasingly more difficult for counties to sign one or two individuals as their overseas players because of the varied nature of franchise cricket, international requirements and needs of uh, of, uh, international teams. Um, So I think counties generally look to sign red ball player and a white ball player or two white ball players. Um, We were fortunate last year that we, we could blend Glenn Maxwell into white and red ball. We had Jimmy Faulkner as our, as, as our other white ball cricketer. Um, and we had an opportunity when uh, Joe Burns was indisposed to, to, to play Jake Lehman. And we also had the option of not playing any overseas player and still putting out a really good team and a winning side. So I, I think what what we're looking to do next year is to sign a, a red ball specialist for the first seven matches. I think it'd be highly likely that we try and look at Glenn Maxwell again for our T20. Um, we're looking at Jimmy Faulkner as well in the T20. Um, and then I think for the back end of the summer you have to assess where you are. There will be players available. Um, and. It obviously depends on international uh, commitments, of course. The Australians tend to go back early September. And I think that there are four championship slots in September next year. So it, it's, a, it, it's a question of planning, seeing how you set yourself up for the season, and then assessing what you may or may not need towards the back end.